From earning badges to seeing a flurry of digital confetti after every trade, gamification in investment apps tries to entice customers to trade more often. However, more frequent trading isn't necessarily a good thing for investors. According to an article published by The Motley Fool, frequent and excessive trading will likely lead an investor to see stocks as data points rather than a percentage ownership in a company. This comes as more and more young investors are entering markets for big gains in short time spans. And investing apps are continuing to evolve to make the user experience more intuitive and visually appealing. I'm now joined by Brendan Caldwell, director at Caldwell Securities Limited, to unpack this further. Brendan, thank you for joining us. Always great to be here, Teresa. Now, how do push notifications and points-linked prizes impact investor behavior? Well, I think the same way any online uh, app, and if it's if investing is now being reduced to the level of an app, the same way that any uh, positive reinforcement uh, in terms of bells, whistles, competitive frameworks, uh, anything that gets people to feel excited beyond the actual act of pushing the buttons uh, about what they're doing uh, I mean, is why uh, Las Vegas does it the way that they do. So it is a, uh, it, it re releases cortisone, I presume, in the, uh, in the brain, gets one energized, gets one feeling, uh, um, not cortisone, the other one. The one that get the one that makes you all excited, um, the uh, that makes that makes one feel uh, positive, you know, positive um, reinforcement. So, uh, yeah, it, it is just the same way any other app works, except this one's actually working with real money, not just uh, you know whatever they do in the in the Roblox. Now, what demographics of investors are typically at greater risk of being influenced by these tactics? Well, you would normally think younger people, and I'm pretty sure that studies show younger people are more influenced. But of course, younger people are learning to invest or to trade or whatever this is uh, for the very first time. Changing behavioral patterns established through adulthood in any way is harder, but not impossible. I have no problem believing that a septuagenarian, 70, 80 something octogenarian could become addicted to to trading, 40 or 50 somethings could be, but I think as with most things online, the the these um, these platforms are really targeting younger investors. And what consumer protection concerns arise from the use of gamification in trading apps? Well, the uh, I mean, when it's when it's I don't know, pick your favorite gaming app. Um, I don't know, is Tetris still a thing? <laughs> The longer that the game keeps you playing, perhaps the more ads you get to see, perhaps the more likely to click on something else, or maybe you're likely to buy a, a super duper helmet shield sword thing for Fortnite. Again, I'm talking out of my own ignorance in these apps, but the cost is de minimis um, relative to one's existence. But the, the, the real risk, I think, is you're playing with real dollars. And as anybody who's ever done a... Uh, at a stock market contest versus really investing with the stock market, the whole psychology is different. What I think these apps are uh, geared to do is make uh, people feel it's just like Roblox. It's just like any other app, except it's real, real dollars. And by and large, most investors are much better served by buying and owning something they know firsthand. Uh, I tell younger investors that they're way better off and they have an advantage over me or anyone else in our business because they know what's hot. They know what's trendy. You're, you're probably better off buying shares in uh, interactive brokers, IBKR, um, or any other uh, Robinhood than you are actually investing in Robinhood. Generally speaking, the casino does better than the gamblers. So if you're going to treat investing like it's gambling, if these bings and whistles and bells are going to make you feel like Vegas, at least with the, the online gaming uh, companies, many or most of the bigger ones are in fact public companies of themselves, buy and hold some IBK or a Robinhood rather than actually responding to those bells and whistles. And what advice would you give to investors using investment apps with gamified features? Don't, don't do it. Um, really, it's not, it's not, uh, th for the right person, Trading online um, by oneself might be right. 
but I have some very sophisticated clients that trade many millions of dollars in uh, stocks every single day, and they work with other people. Uh, they call our desk, they, they work with us as advisors, and that's just such a better system. Now, if you want to trade on your own, God bless you, use one of the, the discount firms if that's what works for you. But if you're getting that extra hit, that extra impact, they're getting you to do this because they make money, these discount brokerage firms, several different ways. They make money from uh, the cash you have on hand. They make money from the volumes. They get money from data. They get money for trading on certain exchanges. Even though you may not be paying, they really want you to trade because they actually make quite a bit of money off of your volumes. Always remember that if you are not paying for a product, you yourself are the product. And that's largely what they're trying to get you to do. The trick is for the extra few dollars they make on interest or trading fees or whatever, you could lose hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars by over trading one's account. And it's not a great strategy for the vast majority of humanity. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Teresa.